All right, so this is about the Call for Kelp project in which people wanted me to test different uh, types of algae of seaweed uh, for uh, Fukushima isotopes, uh, seaweed that comes from Japan. I received uh, these items. They're from Swanson Health in the US and from Health Supplies uh, UK, but were produced in Japan, all of those. They are Wakami and Nori seaweed. And, uh, well, it's quite boring because, um, well, it's a good thing, I have to admit, because none of these tested positive for any reactor isotopes in measurable amounts, despite leaving them on uh, over half a day. But, um, as you can see, this, there's pretty much nothing in it. The only thing you can see is the natural radioisotope potassium-40, which means that the seaweed is quite rich in potassium, same as bananas would be. But, um, yeah. No Fukushima isotopes or reactor isotopes, artificial isotopes like cesium-137 are detectable. I have to admit that uh, this study is not really statistically, uh, statistically significant, simply because of uh, the, uh, the number of these, these uh, samples being too low. But um, out of politeness to all the people who donated, uh, thank you again for that. I uh, simply wanted to publish these results, even though uh, they're not too interesting, but... Uh, I guess that's a good thing. Seems like uh, they're, at least in regard to export, you seem to be strict and um, measuring whatever they're exporting. So uh, these things are pretty much clean and safe for consumption. Anyway, thanks again to all the people who donated and uh, stay tuned until Christmas time when I will actually have time to edit some more, more interesting, especially, videos for you. See ya.